Hi everyone and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. So after wanting to start YouTube for over a year, I finally decided to just go for it. So you may be here from my blog, if you follow me on there, you may know that I've wanted to start YouTube. And if you're not, then I'm also a beauty and fashion blogger over on moremarthaslive.blogspot.com. I'm gonna leave the link down below if you wanna check it out. Today I wanted to share with you my everyday makeup routine. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So first, I'm gonna start with the Maybelline Baby Skin Insta Pore Primer. <laughs> and I've been using it for a few weeks now and I think it's really like um, the Benefit Professional, to be honest. Um, it's really smooth and I like it. If I'm looking over there, that's because the mirror's over there. And then if I'm looking up there, it's the screen and I just keep looking at it. I shouldn't. Next, I'm going to use the L'Oreal um, True Match Foundation in the shade Rose Vanilla. I'm going to use the Nanshi Stippling Brush. It just looks like this. And I'm going to actually use two brushes to apply my foundation. But first, I always use this one just to spread it, spread the product all over my face. Make sure you're bringing down your neck. <laughs> Okay, so I have like the first layer, but I still have some product left here. So I'm going to take the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I'm just going to go back anywhere where I still need coverage and I'm just going to buff it in. Just so it looks more natural. I'm then going to use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade 1 Fair and 2 Cool Medium. I have two of these. I use number 1 for highlighting, just brightening under the eyes, and then I use number 2 because it matches like the rest of my face. So this is what I do, as you can see. Kind of just use it for highlighting. And I'm going to blend that in with the Real Techniques Contour Brush. Yeah, Contour Brush, yeah. I wouldn't really use this brush for contour though. I'm just dabbing the concealer in, I'm not dragging it along. I think it just stays on for a lot longer this way. I'm going to set the foundation with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent. And I'm going to use the Real Techniques Powder Brush to set that. I'm then going to use the Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit and I'm going to use this shade over here and I'm going to use the MAC 109 brush and I'm just going to contour. And same on the other side. Next, I'm using the Benefit Coralista brush, 
blush. <laughs> and it just looks like this. I think everybody owns it. <laughs> I just think it's a nice shade and I really like coral shades. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that. It's such a pretty shade. Oh, I was using the Real Techniques blush brush with that. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to use the, the Bam Mary Luminizer. I love this highlighter. It's my favorite one. This is what it looks like. So pretty. And what I have left on my brush, I'm just going to bring down my nose. And yeah. Time for brows. Probably my favorite part of the whole thing. I'm just going to brush them with a little combey thing. I don't actually use this product, <laughs> I just use the brush. Then I'm going to take the best brow product I've ever used. Sorry, I was just looking out my window. Um, and it's the Soap and Glory, and it's the Soap and Glory Brow Archery, as you can see. And I have that in the shade Brownie Points. So once I'm finished with them, I'm just going to go back to my little brush and I'm just going to brush them through. And then I'm going to use just a clear brow setting gel. This one looks disgusting because I've been using it for such a long time. I need to get a new one. If you actually, if you have any suggestions on like brow gels and brow tints, let me know down below because I need to get a new one. <laughs> so I'm finished with the brows. Next, I'm going to do my eyes. I don't have like a specific eye look that I do every single day, but lately I've been reaching for my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It smells so good. So I've just been using this palette. And I'm just going to show you the look that I've been going for. I'm going to take the MAC 239 brush. And I'm going to take salted caramel over here. And I'm just going to apply it all over the lid. I'm then going to use the same brush that I've been using and I'm going to use milk chocolate over here and just put it on the outer parts of the lid. I'm then going to take a Primark little face brush that has like two sides to it. I'm going to take the shade Marzipan, just this one here. I'm going to apply it just in the middle of the lid. As you can see, like this. 
I'm going to take the other end of that brush and take salted caramel, the same shade that I used at the very beginning. I'm just going to take it underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to blend everything in. I'm then going to use my favourite mascara of all time, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Oh, this is probably the best mascara I've ever used. And I actually need to repurchase it really, really soon because I can't run out of it. <laughs> I'll cry. So I'm just going to apply that. Last but not least, I'm going to use MAC Velvet Teddy, which is my everyday shade, as you can see there. And it's just my favourite lipstick of all time, so I'm just going to apply that. So this is the finished look. So I hope you enjoyed my first ever YouTube video. I was a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Be sure to comment down below and let me know some video suggestions that you would like to see from me. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a like and I will see you in my next video. Bye! My legs are so sore from sitting on them, jeez! Okay, let's do a thumbnail now. I don't know how to do this. I'm very new to this. What am I doing? Anywho, goodbye! I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna scare everybody away.